Practice drills over the Baltic Sea by British, French and Danish pilots. Western powers are honing their response to Russia's military build-up near Ukraine with a display of combat readiness. The Danes have also sent fighter jets and a frigate to join NATO efforts in the Baltic. Do too much and the alliance risks being drawn into a conflict in a country they have no treaty obligation to protect. Do too little and a potential Russian invasion risks destabilizing not just Ukraine but the entire region. If the worst happens and the destructive firepower of the, of the Russian army were to engulf Ukraine's towns and cities, I shudder to contemplate the tragedy that would ensue. Yeah, yeah. And the bloodshed comparable to the first war in Chechnya or Bosnia. 4,000 NATO troops are on standby in the Baltic states, Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. Once part of the Soviet Union, they're now ardent NATO members and thousands more reinforcements are ready to deploy there. In Ukraine itself, small contingents of American and British troops have been training local forces. A flow of military aid's been arriving too. This a shipment of British anti-tank weapons. And these are boxes of American ammunition to help Ukraine defend itself. Since 2014, the US alone has spent two and a half billion dollars arming the Ukrainian military with defense systems and electric warfare units, all at no cost. And the EU says it's mobilizing all resources to fend off cyber attacks. Well, the Commission proposes a new emergency macrofinancial assistance package. Agreeing also this week on a $1.7 billion financial aid package to help Ukraine and importantly Ukrainians weather any drawn out conflict. All this of course is what we know about. Covert and overt operations are happening simultaneously with the UK last week claiming the Russians were planning to install this man as a puppet president following a successful takeover of the country. Russia dismissed the claims. True or false, NATO wants Russia to know its joint intelligence efforts are trained on Moscow. Western agencies that are analysing this know, for instance, that right now the Russian forces aren't really ready to conduct any kind of attack against Ukraine, but they know that in two weeks they will be. So it's about, as in all forms of deterrence or compellence, it's about signalling intent. But it may be the threat of never seen before sanctions against Russia by the EU, US and others that prove the most effective deterrent in the West's arsenal. Russia's 2014 annexation of Ukraine's Crimean Peninsula caught allied Western forces off guard, with European security once again at stake. The NATO alliance wants its presence firmly felt. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, London.